What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or so many of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for sign of sports for June of 2022. So it's very important. I want to take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. But thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you feel guided to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to let you know that in the bottom of my heart shop book. Also, I did a hashtag meme drop uh, over the past three days in the new moon and new moon in Gemini energy. So if anybody's interested in the memes, I have meme dropped. They're on the community tab. If you are interested, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Spirit messages you have fun. Spirit messages you have fun with you. Um, I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your energy. That's why I'm doing yours next because I felt guided to do it. Um, the channel message <clears throat> messages I received, the first one was death spell backfiring um, was the first one. And the second one, I heard hidden helpers. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, don't forget this can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in the image of your charts. I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, North Node, and Mid Heavy charts, especially at least your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus charts, um, or North Node, but, um, just saying, just saying. But yeah, so, um, memes are up if you're interested, and just letting everybody know. So yeah, so death spell backfiring. So I okay, so from that I'm feeling um you know energies can be reversed. So either you put a death spell on person, people, etc. 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 and it's backfiring on you or somebody you're connected to, or somebody put a death spell on you and it is backfiring on them or someone they're connected to, probably on Whoever put the death spell on, it's probably backfiring on them. Because um, the death spells are like the, that's a major dark arts. Major dark arts. That's not, I mean, I don't condone any dark arts, but that is some serious dark arts. And I mean, that's up there. Like, seriously up there. And I'm just being broke. So, I feel that only you know your story, not anybody else. Um. Are you putting death spells on somebody or did you hire somebody to put death spells on somebody or did somebody put death spell on you or did they hire somebody to put death spell on you? Only you know your story, not anybody else. But that's some serious crap. Um, and that's, that's some heavy duty dark arts energy. Heavy duty. And then hidden helpers. So you could be a hidden helper or someone is helping you. Hidden, um, hidden helpers is like behind the scenes helping energy for anybody doesn't know. So I feel you could be a behind the scenes helper to person, people, place, family, situation, or organization. Or um, someone could be a hidden helper behind the scenes for you. However, that resonates in one's life, Scorpio. Spirit messages you have signs for us. We have rabbit, shark, toad, and envy so far. Door. A funeral is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. For some, it is a Scorpio about to pass away. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. I heard a funeral is about to um, be very significant in um, a Scorpius life. For some, it is a Scorpio that's about to pass away. Dear God Almighty, and we have, you will be shown the way. I I mean, somebody's about to pass, a Scorpius is about to pass away. Um, dear God Almighty, you plug it in how it resonates. 
For some, you could be a Scorpio and it's a Scorpio connected to you about to pass away. It might be a Scorpio that was um, putting death spell on person, people, or et cetera, et cetera. Um, or they hired somebody to put uh, a death spell on somebody. How that resonates. I didn't do this in any of the other readings, but I feel guided to do this one because I heard there's a about to be basically a death of a Scorpio. And I strongly feel whoever the Scorpio is that's about to pass away, I think they were doing work. Like definite shadow work. Like evil dark arts entity energy work on somebody. Or hired somebody to do so. We have message of concern. Oh my lord. Okay. Number 14 or 20 could be very significant numbers of one's life. 14 or 20. It could be um, possible ages of uh, children of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number of one's life. 14 or 20. Give me one second. I'm going to turn the light on back there, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I apologize. Okay, for some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or air sign. I'm sorry, earth sign or a water sign. Um, and for some Scorpios, you are dealing with another Scorpio for sure, because some Scorpios, you're about to, I think, know this other Scorpio that's about to pass away. I strongly feel that. Because one Scorpio in here is about to pass away. But I feel another Scorpio is connected to this other Scorpio. I strongly, strongly, strongly feel that for at least one, one situation in here. For some, it just might it might not be another Scorpio connected to a Scorpio. But I feel for one, it's one Scorpio that knows another Scorpio is about to pass away. And the one's about to pass away, I think the it's the one where the um, they either placed, um, they either did the work themselves to do death magic, um, death spells on somebody, or they paid somebody to do work on um, death spells on somebody. And it's about to energetically boomerang back on them. You plug it in how it resonates. I'm serious. That's exactly what I'm feeling. But um, you use your own logic, reason, intuition. You'll know how it plays out in your life when it does. If it does resonate and apply for you. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay? Rabbit. For one Scorpio, so much sex magic was used. So much. For another Scorpio, so much sex, sex magic was used on you, and it's about to seriously backfire. One Scorpio is a dark arts warlock. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so I'm pulling in one Scorpionic masculine warlock. Uh, warlocks are male energy, so... That could be the one that was doing death spells or paying somebody to do death spells. But he is a warlock. Um, and I think he was putting sex magic on somebody. Um, whoever this masculine Scorpio warlock is and however they apply in one's life. How that resonates. And for one of you Scorpios, somebody else was putting sex magic on you. So you have to plug this in, how it resonates, it resonates for you. Strong dark arts energy in here already. We're not even nine minutes in and so much dark arts. This is third sign I did for June so far on this round. All we're talking about is dark arts, basically. I mean, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So sex magic energy strong, dark arts, sex magic. Um, a warlock, Scorpio warlock. Um, sex magic's about to backfire on them or it already has. This, the rabbit is indicative of sexual energy here in this aspect. It's indicative of sexual energy because, you know, um, doing it like a rabbit, the term doing it like a rabbit, rabbits are very, they're indicative of sexual energy, basically. In this aspect, it is sex magic. Um, and one of you guys, somebody was putting sex magic on you. And I feel it's about to energetically boomerang back on them. So their sex magic is about to energetically boomerang back on them. So it's not, it's like return to cinder. It's going to go back, okay? But the, for the warlock, it's about to boomerang back on him, I'm feeling. Um, his sex magic wielding here. Lord.
And one Scorpio is about to find out about a very sex addicted Taurus. They're going to want to date you. You're not going to be interested. And one Scorpio, you're going to find out about a very sex addicted Taurus. I heard um, you're not going, uh, it sounds like after you find out that they're so sex addicted, you're not going to want to date them. So whoever you are and how this applies, um, Scorpio, you be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. Some kind of sex addicted porn energy that can be masculine or feminine. In this aspect, it is a sex addicted Taurus, um, masculine or femme. I heard after you find out, it don't sound like you know now they're sex addicted for it. Uh, they're sex addicted. But once you find out, um, you're not going to date them. One of them has a very serious STD. For one, you're about to find this out. One has a very serious STD. And for one, you're about to find this out. So for one, they have a very serious STD. You're about to find it out. Shark. Water sign energy. A very aggressive cancer is about to come into a Scorpio's energy field soon. Very aggressive. They're not going to be playing around. For one, they are a lone shark. For one, they're a dark arts wielder. You know they don't mess around. Oh my God, what are, who are y'all dealing with? Dear God. So, um, for one of you, okay, so for one of you guys, this is heavy cancer, heavy cancer energy. They have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, and Venus, and Jupiter sharks. Um, ask what cancer. One is one, one of these cancers is lone shark. So, the shark energy in this aspect is the cancerian lone shark. So, they want their money. They want their money in some shape or fashion. Whoever this cancer is and how they apply Scorpio. Do you owe them money? And I did a the daily tea today on a long shark energy. So for some of you guys, I feel it's that person, this cancer long shark. Um, for some, it is a dark arts wielder cancer. And I heard you know they don't mess around. So I think obviously they don't mess around. They I'm sure they've studied the book of secrets. They probably know all about it. They've probably been doing this shit for years. I think they're probably gonna try to put work on you, or they already have put work on you. They're coming in as the shark energy. Um, aggress I heard they're aggressive. So they're going to come in aggressive. They're going to try to take what they want. Um, I think this is aggressive work energy with the shark energy with this cancer. It can be masculine or femme cancer, but aggressive dark arts work with the shark energy. Um, oh, dear Lord, this is something. You plug it in, how it resonates. And a cancer is a water sign, by the way. So that's your aggressive cancer, dark arts wielder. I feel they are a very skilled um, magician, dark arts magician though. And I feel they've been doing it for a long, hot ass minute. And one of them, they're long sharp. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Yo, Lord. Door opportunities are waiting for you. By the way, number four. Oh, I told you 14 and 20 significant numbers. Opportunities are waiting for you. An unexpected delivery is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life soon. And moving on from the past and healing. Okay, I heard a um, unexpected delivery is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life soon. And moving on and healing. So only, you know, you take the message that applies for it. You can be masculine or feminine. Some kind of unexpected delivery, but that about to become significant in your life. So I think the unexpected delivery for some of you guys is about to be an opportunity in some shape, form, or fashion. Or lead to an opportunity, however that resonates. And for one, um, healing and moving on. Some kind of healing and moving on energy. So I think if uh, the healing and moving on, if you do your healing and shadow work, it will lead to opportunities for you, is what I'm feeling. Um, but only you know you're showing out anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Candle, you will be shown the way. A very significant wheel is about to become very significant. A Scorpio's wheel. A 
a lawyer will definitely have to get involved and contact a feminine energy that's in the Scorpio's wheel because the family will not do it. This lawyer is about to be very highly intuitive, about to get very highly intuitive after this death occurs and realizes they're going to have to take charge. Oh, dear Lord. I think it's the Scorpio that's about to pass away. And I'm serious. There's a Scorpio in here about to pass away. But there, it looks, sounds like the Scorpio's family doesn't want this. Fem, there's some fem energy in the Scorpio's will. It could be a masculine or a feminine Scorpio that's about to pass away. I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine, but a Scorpio is about to pass away. And I strongly feel it's a dark arts wielder. It might be this warlock for some of them. But how this resonates, um, the family doesn't want the fem energy. It's a fem energy in the Scorpio's will. But the family of the Scorpio doesn't want this fem energy to know she's in the will. I heard, but I, maybe the lawyer's a Scorpio too, possibly. Maybe you're a lawyer, Scorpio, or you have Scorpio in your chart. I feel you might watch this video for some reason. I didn't hear you're going to, but I feel you might watch this video. You're significant in here, in this Scorpio that's about to pass away's reading, just saying. Um, but I heard you, lawyer, realize you're going to have to take charge because the family of the Scorpio is not going to contact the feminine energy and let her know she's in the wheel. They know she's in the wheel, and you are you obviously know she's in the wheel, or you're about to find out she's in the wheel on the in the unlocking unveiling of the wheel but the family is strategically not going to tell her for strategic reasons i heard you're going to have to take charge take charge and basically let her know because the family is strategically going to hold it back from her so i feel you're going to watch this reading for some reason scorpio you might have scorps in your chart or you just might click on it for some reason so that message is for you Scor um, lawyer but i'm sure you, you know i'm sure you're hopefully good at your job and you know you're going to have to realize you're going to have to step up after they don't say anything. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's pretty shysty, but people do that crap all the time. So I don't put it past folks. And that's just the truth. Candle, you'll be shown the way. A new wardrobe soon, for one. Wow, I heard a new wardrobe, new wardrobe soon, for one. Glow up. Glow up. Wow, I heard glow up. New wardrobe soon, for one, glow up. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to, you might have already started having a glow up, or you're about to, but I think the new wardrobe is going to help the glow up or start the glow up. However, that resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, you can be masculine or pen, Scorpio. Males have a glow up too, just saying. And um, that's beautiful. So some kind of hashtag glow up energy. You can be male or female. But I think the wardrobe is going to accentuate glow up. Uh, I definitely think that. And that's really beautiful. So you will be shown the way, I think, with your confidence, your self-confidence, your worth, your um, your mood. It's really going to help boost you up. I know, we're, I, I mean, I'm not a, trust me, I'm very, very, very good. I have learned over the years to be very good by money, for sure, because I don't want to be broke, and that's just damn truth. But when I'm able to put away extra money to go on a shopping spree, it makes me feel so good. Like the new clothes and the newness and trying them on, and it just makes me feel wonderful. So I think that's what's going to happen to one of you guys. You will be shown the way, I think, with self-confidence, motivation, and just like a hashtag glow up feel. You plug it in, how it resonates. I apologize about that no noise. It's my new refrigerator I just bought. Um, it's in here in the spirit room right now because I got to hire a contractor to come knock down the walls so I can get it in there. And trust me, I'm I'm not parting with that fridge. It's wonderful. A particular Scorpio is about to read a very significant survey. Position of high authority, high position, high authority, Scorpio. About to re read a very significant survey of a past employee. It's going to cause you to help this past employee in huge ways. You're going to learn a lot that you didn't know in this survey. About to really step up and help. 
you have respect for this person. That's beautiful. So whoever you are, very high position, high authority, Scorpio, um, you have great respect for a, 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 a past employee. It sounds like a past employee of your company is what it sounds like here. And, um, but they're not currently employed there anymore. So I don't know if they quit or they got wrongfully terminated or they got rightfully terminated, but however that resonates, you are about to read a survey. It sounds like this past employee, whether they quit, got wrongfully terminated or rightfully terminated, you're about to read a survey that sounds like they completed. Um, and I heard once you read it, you are about to, uh, I heard you already have great respect for this person. So you already have great respect for this person. Sounds like you liked the, you liked this person or you still like this person, but how this resonates, um, you do have great respect for them, which is good, which is good. But um, I heard once you read the survey, it sounds like something they're about to write in the survey or they already have written in the survey. Um, it's going to cause you to take great action to help them because something it's something that you did not know in the past that they're about to write in the survey. It sounds like in the comment section, um, that's going to cause you to help. So you plug it in. So I think you will be shown the way is the information in the survey from this past employee. I think they worked at the same company as you. I don't think they currently are employed there now, um, but I'm sure there's probably reasons. I think it's about to be stated in the survey. And so I think you will be shown the way is the information in the survey in that aspect. Um, you are very high position, high authority. And um, I think you're about to take the shark energy on in that aspect. And um, not like in an aggressive, mean way, but in like an action oriented way to take great action to help this former employee whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. That's beautiful. And one older Scorpio, 40 and above, they're about to get a huge wake up call dating a very younger person. Huge intuitive signs are about to come that you need to cut it off with this person. They're very toxic. You're about to get a huge wake up call and realize this. Ooh, Lord. So you're a 40 or above Scorpio, masculine or femme, 40 or above Scorpio. And basically you're dating a much younger person. Now I didn't hear specifically um, how old this much younger person is, but I'm feeling probably for a lot of you guys, they're at least five years younger, maybe 10 years or 20 years younger for some of you guys. Uh, but you're 40 or above. But there's about to be some huge intuitive spikes, I think, in the 3D world. So you're about to see something um, from this younger person, your much younger person you're dating. Or hear, I don't think it's hearing something about them. I think you're about to see them do something or hear them say something to you or somebody else. And it's about to hugely intuitively spike you to realize they're hugely freaking toxic. And I think that the intuitive signs in the universe is that you will be shown the way i.e. breaking it off with this toxic younger person. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, they're sex addicts or it has something to do with sex because we have the rabbit card and I'm just being for real. Um, or a third party energy or sneaky link or situationship. You plug it in how it resonates. Message of concern. An older Scorpio is about to learn of stalking of a younger Scorpio on a feminine energy. They're about to get pissed. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard an older Scorpio, so 35 or above, I'm feeling Scorpio. You can be masculine or femme, uh, 35 or above Scorpio. I heard you're about to learn, masculine or femme, by the way, I think. Um, you're about to learn of um, stalking of a younger Scorpio on a feminine energy. So. A younger Scorpio, so you're 35 or above Scorpio, masculine or femme. You're about to learn of a younger Scorpio, 35 or below masculine or femme, Scorpio, that has stalked a feminine energy. Sounds like past energy stalked her. Um, I heard, about to take some great action, great action. One of these people will be demoted. Workspace situation. Oh, I heard about to take some great action. One of these people will, will be demoted. 
workspace situation. So it's at least two younger Scorpios that have stalked a feminine energy in the past. And I mean, I mean, I feel like I heard stalk. So I mean, like stalk the hell out of them. They have stalked this feminine energy in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm feeling for a lot of these younger Scorpios, they have stalked some kind of social media platform of this feminine energy. Um, or illegal voyeur camera energy, because we've been pulling that in very strong in here recently. So however that resonates. But however that resonates, you are an older Scorpionic energy, 35 or above, masculine or feminine. I feel you're very mature. I feel they're very young. They're very immature. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they're 35 or below. I'm just saying that because if you're stalking somebody, you're obviously very immature. I don't care how old you are. Um, but I heard you're going to take great action. And one of these younger Scorpionic energies, I heard, will get demoted. So they're in a workspace situation with you, older Scorpionic energy. And you're about to demote them for the stalking of the younger, uh, of the fem energy, of the fem energy. So message of concern is you about to find out this younger Scorpion energy, masculine or fem, has been stalking a feminine energy. And you're, for one of you guys, you're either going to, you actually have the power to demote them, or you're about to create a series of chain events to have them demoted. How that resonates. But the message of concern in this aspect is you about to find out they've been stalked, that fem energy's been stalked. I think you have great respect for that fem energy, um, and you're about to um, take action with this stalker person. At least one of them. There's at least two in the universe. That's crazy. And one Scorpio is about to get an unexpected phone call of a death of a Scorpio soon. And one Scorpio is about to get unexpected phone call of a death of a Scorpio soon. So message of concern in this aspect, I think it's that warlocky masculine Scorpio that's about to pass away, or it could be any other Scorpio that's about to pass away. There is a, definitely a Scorpio about to pass away in here, and I'm just being serious as a heart attack about that. Not a literal heart attack, but some, a Scorpio is about to pass away, and I'm serious, and I think it has to do with magic, backfiring magic. And I, I mean, I hate to say that, but I am serious, but you are another Scorpio. Uh, hopefully you don't practice dark arts, um, but you're about to get a message of concern that this other Scorpio has passed away. You plug it in, how it resonates, dear Lord. Toad. A very slimy air sign energy is about to try to communicate with the Scorpio soon. It would not be smart. All they want is information. Know this. Okay. Heard a very slimy air sign energy is about to try to uh, connect with the Scorpio soon. I heard it would not be smart to communicate with them. All they want is information. Uh, so it's a very low vibrational air sign energy. It can be a masculine or feminine air sign. They could have Gemini, Leo, or Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hey, energy for your charts. But they're coming off as the toad energy. So, you know, toads are very slimy. They're very slimy. And um, so I think in that, and I heard they're slimy. So they're slimy. They're sneaky and they're slimy. And they, um, they're they coming up as the toad energy. I mean, you ever heard the term kiss a, um, kiss the prince or the toad? I mean, it's, it's like a karmic energy is what I'm feeling here. They are a karmic energy. They're low vibrational. They're karmic energy. They're showing up in energetic space as a freaking toad. And I heard they're slimy. So, I mean, I'm just saying, I strongly feel heavy karmic energy here. I heard all they want is information. So all they want is information from you. I feel you're a high vibrational Scorpio if that message applies for you. Um, I heard it wouldn't be smart to give it to them, but of course you have free will. You can give it to them if you want. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation soon. It's about to seriously backfire on this low vibrational air sign energy. Several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with this situation soon. It's about to seriously backfire on this low vibrational air sign energy. So I heard they're low vibrational. I definitely think they're a karmic. They could be a karmic to you or a karmic to somebody else. But they are definite karmic energy to somebody. I think the person they're trying to gain information on. I think they're a karmic to someone they're trying to gain information on. And for anybody who doesn't know, a karmic is basically someone, a karmic, can be a karmic to anybody, but a karmic is someone that tries to block somebody's success or money or career or um, make their looks go down or block their money or 
They do something or attempt to do something negative to somebody, usually involving looks or money or some or career or something positive for them that could really, really help and elevate them. Um, that's what a karmic is for anybody doesn't know. Oh, Lord. Envy. High vibrational Scorpio, there is someone really trying to compete with you. Intuitively, you know this. It'd be smart to just let it roll off your shoulders. I'm pulling in a lot of high vibrational Scorpio energy in here. Some karmic, some low vibrational karmic air sign energy. Um, some uh, Scorpio is about to pass away. Another Scorpio. Um, and then a very high vibrational Scorpio. So you have to plug the messages in how it resonates. Only you know your story not anybody else. But a lot of high vibrational Scorpionic energy in here. That's really great. So you're a high vibrational Scorpionic energy, masculine or feminine. I heard somebody is trying to compete with you, but intuitively, you know they are. So you're highly intuitive. You're high vibrational. You treat, treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and value. Um, you, I mean, you could be younger or older, however that resonates in your life. But you're definitely mature and you're high vibrational. Um, I heard you know somebody intuitively you know somebody trying to compete with you but i heard the spiritual download in that is to be smart just to um, let it roll off your shoulders so they're very jealous they're very envious of you basically and they're trying to secretly compete with you um now anybody i mean i've had people trying to secretly compete with me in the past i don't believe in secretly competing um, if you're going to compete with somebody do it on equal level playing fields um, don't make it unfair um and whoever this is i think they would Pull very, very stri uh, strategic, sneaky, behind the scenes karmic energy to win at all costs kind of energy is what I'm feeling. They're very highly jealous of you, um, whoever this person is. Femin feminine energy, very jealous. Fem energy, very jealous is what I heard. So it's a fem energy, high vibrational Scorpio. It's a fem energy, very highly jealous of you. If that resonates for you. You're a high vibrational Scorpio, masculine or fem. Okay, you have Scorps any aspects of your chart, but it is a fem energy, highly freaking jealous of you. She's so much so, she's secretly trying to compete with you. Um, I heard it just be smart just to um, let it let it go, you know, roll, roll off your shoulders, my dear. And absolutely, absolutely. I mean, haters going to hate, people going to be jelly. So, you know, whatever, man, just let them be. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can't control other people, nor should you want to. Um, it's better just to let bygones be bygones and let them do their thing and you do your thing. Absolutely. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. A very significant call to corporate soon. A very significant call to corporate soon is what I just heard. So this could be you, energies can reverse. This could be you calling corporate or corporate calling you. How this resonates, Scorpio, some kind of very significant call to corporate. Um, this could be corporate entity that you work at, that you're employed at, or a corporate entity that you do business with. However that resonates and applies in your life. Um, but a very significant um, call. I heard, oh, well. Yeah, how that resonates. Either you're calling corporate or they're calling you. How that resonates, okay? But um, what, and that's, I feel it can go both ways. Either you work at this corporate entity energy, or you used to, or you do business with the corporate entity energy, like Walmart or Big Lots or Blasey, Blasey, Blasey. You know what I'm saying? So, but some kind of very significant corporate entity phone call energy, whether you're making it or they're calling you. I think I heard that you're going to call them. You can go back and check the original message, but I think I heard the original message that you're going to call them. But you can you play it back and get the exact message. I think I heard that you were going to call them, but you plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, I love you guys so much. I really hope this helped, and namaste.